let's talk about sewing machine needle sizes. Uh, if you guys follow me, you know I'm looking at the pin cushion um, that I made and I have labeled um, on top of my uh, main straight stitch sewing machine that I use. Um, and let's zoom over here and let's see these three needle sizes here. All right. This is that nine ball point. That's what that nine BP means. Uh, this is a 14. This is an 18. I most often use the nine ball point and the 18. You can clearly see the size difference. Um, ball point has a slightly more rounded tip. And you can actually see that in the video that this tip looks more rounded than even the size 18. Um, so they've rounded the tip, um, but the shank of the needle is much slimmer and the hole of the needle is much slimmer. So these are the things that you need to think about when you're choosing your needles. Um, most often I'll use the nine ball point when I am sewing silks or satins that I don't want to pick or pull. Also, if what I'm sewing is a little bit bumpy and I need a needle that is flexible because the, because the shank is uh, so much thinner, this needle can actually bend a, a few more times before breaking as opposed to these. These are a little bit more um, brittle. 14 is just somewhere in the middle. I don't use 14 a lot, to be honest with you, um, but it's just somewhere in the middle. If you don't want holes as big as what an 18 will give you, uh, but you, but it, the, the fabric is not quite delicate enough um, for a 9. You need something a little bit stronger. Your 14 is going to be your go-to. Um, now the 18, uh, this is what I use for when I'm doing my free motion sewing. So when I'm appliquing lace, um, it's also when I'm sewing through boning um, or other thick fabrics. Um, it's not that the 9 can't go through thick fabrics. Don't let the, the thinness of the needle fool you. It really can go through thick fabrics. Um, it, it, it can actually go through very smoothly. Um, but the main problem that you run into is you start getting thread breakage when the fabric is a little bit too thick. And that's because, see when I roll it, see that little notch right there? It's a tiny notch compared to, look at that notch, okay? This notch, is is where that thread gets to go through so what you'll have go on is um if you try to run this through some boning yeah the needle may be strong enough um but because this notch is so narrow and the boning is so tight around it um actually just going through that fabric is going to cut your thread so you're going to find your thread is breaking all the time and you're like what in the world is wrong well you use this one and it's got this nice big gap for the thread to fit into so you can be sewing through thick stuff um, and everything will be just fine. I think I have a client here. I got to go, guys. But I hope this helped you uh, with your sewing machine needle selection. Have a good one.